on, Kristen. Why do we have to do this now? Because the report for health class is due tomorrow, that's why. We had to explain everything about the human eye. Look, you got two of them, they come in different colors, and they close when you sleep. What else do you have to know? Jason, you know, if we just get started, it'll get easier. Kids, Jiminy Cricket here. Want to find out about peepers or blinkers or eyes? Sure! Great! Because I'd like to invite you to our really special place. The walk and talk and live and breathe and world of books and beyond. Go ahead, look! Anyone can enter, anytime. Just use your imagination when you open a book and you'll be there. Go on, jump into a world of wonder. Look at this place. It's the world of books and beyond, where everywhere you look, there's a discovery to be made. I don't believe it. This is great. Kids. Look at that! Go on, have some fun, open some books! Fantastic? You bet it is. That's because your imagination is a fantastic place. <laughs> see what I mean? Let's open this curious book and see what discoveries about the human eye are waiting for you. Hello there. <laughs> hey, how about a spotlight? Swell. Now let's see how the eye works. First, we have the iris. It opens or closes to let in just the right amount of light through the pupil. That's the opening in the center of your eye that looks like a dark spot. When there's enough light let in, well, <laughs> that's when you can see. I never knew my eyes did all those things. Uh-huh, they sure do. Say, how'd you like to see them work? Sure! Well, you can. Come on, I'll show you. Look into the mirror and close your eyes until they're almost shut. Now count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Now open wide. Can you see your pupils get smaller? Yeah, I can see a change. This is fun. What's next, Jiminy? Open that door and find out. Now, we need something to see. <laughs> Swell! But to see it clearly, we need the lens. 
It's like the one in a camera. When light comes into your eye, it passes through the lens, which bends the rays of light like this. That makes the rays cross each other in the back of the lens. So you get a picture that's upside down <laughs> on your retina. Retina? Uh-huh. It's like a movie screen with an upside down image. So from there, nerve endings pick up the picture message and send it to your brain. Your brain then turns it right side up and tells you what you're looking at. In this case, it's our friend the dog. It will also tell you if he's up close or far away. Most people's eyes will adjust to see the picture clearly at any distance. But some people can only see things clearly when they're close. That's called being nearsighted. And others can only see things that are far away. That's called being farsighted. But these problems can be corrected with glasses or contact lenses. So, if you need them, get them. And if you got them, well, <laughs> wear them. Like me, see? Very good, Kristen. Now let's see what else we can discover. Hey, an eyelash. The good luck if you wish on them. They're good to have even if you don't wish on them. Let me show you. Eyelashes and eyebrows and eyelids all help to protect our eyes. They help keep out dust and dirt and other things that don't belong there. But what happens, Jiminy, if I do get something in my eye? Well, let's see. First, we need something that doesn't belong in your eye. Uh, let's have that eyelash back, please. Uh-uh-uh. No rubbing. The best thing to do is to go to a grown-up for help. Or, if you can, just close your eyes and let the tears wash it out. Aww. Hey, tears aren't always sad. They're also tears of joy. And tears protect your eyes, too. But how did they do that, Jiminy? I was just coming to that part. See that? The blink. Very important. Every time you blink, about 16 times a minute, your eyelids bring tears to wet and clean your eyes. Then the liquid drains into your tear ducts. Those are the tiny holes in the corners of your top and bottom eyelids. That's cool. What's up now, Jiminy? Hey, watch out! Phew, that was close. Thanks, Jiminy. <laughs> Thank your eyes. That's one of the main reasons you got them. They help to keep you from bumping into all kinds of things. And now, let's discover other ways your eyes help keep you safe. Know what these are? Traffic lights. They tell us when it's safe to cross the street. Green means look left, right, left, then go. Red means stop, don't go. And these signs tell you when it is and isn't safe to walk. Yep, our eyes sure do keep us safe and are something to take care of. Definitely. Speaking of safety, what do you have to say about this? An arrow is pretty sharp. I keep it and other pointy things away from my eyes. And never aim it at anyone. Absolutely right. And what about these? Spray cans. They can be dangerous if what's inside gets into your eyes. I'd stand back from anyone who's using one around me. Good thinking. Hey, Jason, look at these. Swimming goggles. I could use these. Sometimes the water in the pool stings my eyes. And these safety glasses for sports. They keep your eyes from getting hurt by other people's fingers and elbows. Yeah, and other things too. Sunglasses and visors are good because they give your eyes shade from the sun. You bet. But even with sunglasses and visors, never look right into the sun. It's much too bright and could really hurt your eyes. Okay, Jiminy, what should we know about the TV? Well, for starters, don't sit so close when you're watching. There, that's much better. Also, make sure to have plenty of light in the room, otherwise you strain your eyes. What does that mean? Well, that's when your eyes hurt or your vision gets blurred. Like this. Then what do we 
do? Well, for one thing, you take a break. Close your eyes for a moment or two. If your eyes still bother you, tell your parents or a teacher. And it's important to get regular eye checkups, too. You know, Kristen, I never really thought about how much your eyes do. They help keep us safe and tell us about our world. Yeah, and they let us see how beautiful the trees and flowers are. And when our friends are smiling at us. Uh-oh, wish we could keep going. But it's time for you two to be getting on back to the library. This is going to be the best report we've ever done. Because now we know about our eyes from the inside out. Thanks, Jiminy. Yeah, thanks, Jiminy. Bye. Now I can't wait to get started on our report. Me too. Especially the part about how the eye works. Oh, and we can't forget the safety stuff either. Like how our eyes help protect us in traffic. Or all the ways we can help to keep our eyes safe, too. This is fun. Thanks again, Jiminy. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, anytime. Be seeing ya.